Folks, it's Joe DeRosa from the Taste Buds Podcast. Please come see me live. I will be performing in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the Punchline Comedy Club this coming March. You can get tickets to that on my website, joederosainfo.com. Also, right after that, I'm going to South by Southwest and doing some food-related shows down there. So come check me out there. I'll also be doing some regular stand-up stuff, too. So if you live in Austin, come see me at those shows. In April, I'm going back... Not back. No, in April. Where am I? Wait, I'm going west in April, boys. I'm going to the Irvine Improv uh, uh, right outside of L.A. And then I'm going down to San Diego to do some shows. Again, tickets available for these shows, for all my shows. Coming up, May, back in Austin at the Creek and Cave. June, Fort Collins at the Comedy Fort. All of the tickets are available at joederosainfo.com. And if you're in New York, come to Joey Rose's. Bar and Sandwich Shop opens six days a week now, Tuesday through Sunday, opening at 12 p.m. every day. Come get a sandwich and an affordable, delicious beverage. Come see us, joeyrosesnyc.com. What's up, everybody? Let's talk tour dates real quick. This coming week, I will be in Madison and Chicago. That's February 26th and 27th uh, at the Barrymore Theater and the Vic Theater. Those are on sale right now. We have sold out the first shows, second show, still tickets available. And I have just announced all these dates. They are currently on sale right now. These are new dates. April 15th in Louisville. April 16th in Evansville. April 23rd in Tulsa. April 24th in Oklahoma City. June 10th in Rochester. June 11th in Syracuse. June 17th in Mil- Milwaukee, June 18th in Minneapolis, and June 24th in Hampton Beach. Also, of course, the big show, the New York show, the hometown show, the only one I've ever done here is the Beacon Theater on May 14th. Every one of those dates available right now at SavileCanoComedy.com. Thank you. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the Hey, mic. taste buddies, welcome to T-A-S-T-E Buds. Buds. Today's battle is egg rolls versus shrimp cocktail. Two titan appetizers, App- but yeah. also other things. Like what? Well, these well, both turn up on hors d'oeuvre platters they uh, do. and at party spreads and things. Yeah. The, you know, you can buy frozen egg rolls for, you know, your, your you know, we, we talked about hors d'oeuvres a bit last week because of the Super Bowl. But um, yeah, nobody orders shrimp cocktail as a main, right? No. Shrimp cocktail is available at parties. It's an appetizer. It's a. Uh, an accoutrement, but it's not really a main. It is. It is. Yeah. And it's, but I, and the same thing with egg rolls. But there's the times when you crave both where you feel like you could do it as a main, where yeah. you want it so bad, you're like, you're like, I'm going to order six egg rolls and that's going to be my dinner. I have big opinions on both of these. Yeah, me too. Um, but before we get to Wait it, a minute. Huh. I've never done that. Done what? I've never thought to do it. Thought to do what? Just order six egg rolls and uh, eat egg rolls as the main. I've I've danced around. Six with might be above the serving size, even for a main. For lunch, being honest, there's been times at lunch where I've gotten three egg rolls, and that's my lunch. And I've never done that. Now I have eaten two egg rolls with my entire other Chinese food no, no, order. That I do at dinner <laughs> but, time too. But yeah. I never said I'll do three or four egg rolls, and that will just be my main because I didn't think that. Like, first of all, I like a variety when I eat, but egg rolls I have so few and far between, and they're never not good. Even a bad egg roll, egg roll is good. I, I don't know. I've never had a bad egg roll. Now, I want it. I have, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Okay, we'll get to it. All Your right. team egg roll, by the way. I said co- a lot of nice about egg roll already. That's correct. And I'm shrimp cocktail. I, but I mean, I've been I've shrimp cocktail has been my man since I've had day an, one. An illustrious past with shrimp cocktail, and I will expose it all today. All right. It's, I mean, these are great. These are you look forward. These are the co- these are the appetizers. When you sit down at the steakhouse yeah. or the Chinese restaurant, you can't wait. You, this is this kicks the whole night the, off. The egg roll is literally like the freaking yeah. It's the kicker. It kicks the night off. I won't even eat my whole egg roll first. I have to ration my one egg roll egg roll through the whole Chinese meal. I'll call. I take a bite or two of the egg roll. I get myself psyched. I start <laughs> dipping into everything equally. Then like. Halfway through, I'll dip back into the egg roll, and then I'll have eaten like a half of the egg roll at that point, and then another two thirds, and the and the last thing I'm finishing with is the if egg. I'm in the restaurant, I will eat the whole egg roll first, and then 
coffee style call for the garçon to it, bring me another it, one. <laughs> the garçon. It, yeah. it is at your beck and call if you're in the restaurant. Uh, if you're ordering a finite number to the home, yeah. you have to ration. I well, when, that's why I get two or three to go with the meal. I, I'd, love, I'd love to know, know the uh, nutrition facts on an egg roll. The reason I don't, I don't go do. in hard is they just feel like a ball of oil, right? It's, it's uh, like a it's tube of oil. Got to be terrible for it's you. It's got to be bad. They took. Essentially lettuce, it's cabbage. And yeah. they said, let's wrap it in bread and fry it. You know what's wild? Cabbage outside of an egg roll? Puh! I know. I don't even like or it. Or outside of coleslaw. Yeah, I, yeah, or outside of coleslaw. Or corned Cab- beef and cabbage, cabbage? good, No, too. no, not really, though. I mean, I you wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing cartwheels. I don't love corned beef and cabbage. I wouldn't be doing cartwheels as cor- cor- for, the, for the cabbage side. Honestly, if coleslaw and egg rolls didn't exist, I think we, cabbage would go extinct. <laughs> Uh, Nobody would want to be worthless. Yeah, if it weren't for corned beef and egg rolls, you're right. Am I am I crazy? But and pimp way in if you like. But egg rolls, corned beef and cabbage, and coleslaw. Name another thing with cabbage besides a patch. Kid. Uh, sometimes a stuffed. You missed that joke. I thought. Oh, patch kids. Oh, okay. You just didn't no. Like it. But sometimes, <laughs> sometimes stuffed peppers. Though people will make a cabbage and beef base and put it in a stuffed pepper. That that is done at times, but we're not talking about a standard. Yeah, but I'm saying yeah, but what else? do people? Oh Jesus Lord! You know I don't want to I don't want to shut it off because I'm expecting a call. I got you. We'll, we'll put it in your crotch. You feel it buzz? Yeah, and that uh, way it doesn't ding. It's not on buzz. It's just on silent. No, if you turn the ringer off, it's just automatically to, on buzz. Just goes to silent for me. Why would you do that? I have to go into the. Why do you do this? Why do you make it all so difficult? <laughs> yeah. Put it on vibrate. So you know I, it's I, I will say something though. <laughs> if it vibrates under my leg, I'm gonna have to look at it just the same as the ding. But the ding at least is an, is an audible annoyance to who to the podcast. Okay, well the, then the I'm doing buzz, it. We don't at least don't. Hear. Okay, well then I'm doing it for the listeners. Yeah, there you go. All right, so I'm going into. How do I do this now? This is nice. Uh, all right, let's just leave the ding on for now. Leave the ding on. Leave the ding on. Leave the ding on. Leave the ding on. He told me you hurry. He leave told me to leave. On. Who told you to leave the ding on? <laughs> Jackie Childs. <laughs> right? Who told you to put the bomb on? That's what he sounded like. Yeah. The uh but let's not short short the uh the shrimp cocktail because the shrimp cocktail I mean, nothing excites me more arguably than when I see ju- the words jumbo shrimp cocktail on a menu. Yeah. And at that steakhouse, you got that pre dinner cocktail. Yeah. And you see when the lady brings out because it's better when it's the lady. It's more fun when it's the lady. I don't know if it's better when it's a lady, but it's certainly shrimp cocktail is better when someone brings it with a bow tie. I I see. I like a lady bringing a the shrimp cocktail. It feels it feels nurturing to me. It feels motherly. Well, or, then a lady bringing anything is is good then. Or or uh, an old man bringing it to me. That I would, feels grandpa. I would agree. I think I actually would like an old man in a in a vest and tie more than anyone. My shrimp cocktail is most delicious when an old white haired man in a tie and vest drops it off. Right. I, all right, all right, I got you. And I also, it is one of the few foods that I actually will get mad if you say, can I have one? Not you, anybody. Well, it's I, one of the few foods, like when somebody's like, can I have one of those? I'm like, I'm like you, ooh, it yeah, makes me Yeah, angry. yeah, 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 because it is shrimp. It is uh, supposed to be like for kings and queens, right? Yeah, well, but money, also too, there's not a lot of them. It's precious. You get, what do you get, yeah, four? Yeah, they don't fill you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe well, six if they're little. I'll tell you what I don't like. When someone calls it jumbo and you get it, and it's nothing but jumbo. Because I've eaten a shrimp cocktail that is the size of like nearly like a half a banana. I love it. Those big ones that I you gotta take it. three bites out I of. I love it. Yeah, but then sometimes they say jumbo and these little flimsy fire. Yeah, no, that come, sucks. And it's like jumbo. Yeah, if you're in a diner and it says jumbo shrimp cocktail, there's, a, you're there's not something jumbo. in between bullshit and the big ones. That's uh, is passable, but sometimes they'll say jumbo and they're like medium sized shrimp. Let me I not, love let the me big not get ones. into the. Let me not get into all the. All right. The, the cons against the shrimp right now. All right. All right. Fair enough. I'll just say that I like it. And I'll tell you what, maybe oysters, but what is, uh, 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 what's the sauce? Cocktail sauce? Yeah, cocktail. Horseradish. What, is, what goes better with that? Like, I think it's number one pairing is shrimp, right? Yeah. Cocktail, it's, it's cocktail sauce. For, it was built for all shrimp. Chilled, is it for all, all chilled Fried seafood? shrimp, it's great. 
It's great with, um, but it's a seafood clam strips. Thing. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's but, but it nothing. Was, it's it better was, with nothing than shrimp cocktail. for shrimp. But, but I but think but chilled shrimp cocktail is its best. I think part I would ar- I would argue that, or or it, it's really good with oysters too. But shrimp cocktail tops it. Let me ask you a question: What are you dipping a shrimp cocktail in if it's not? All right, you know what? Is it? <sighs> Stop! Stop it! Who's uh, I, dinging I, you? I, you know, it's th- people in the group chat, bro. I can't. What group chat? Do we get into that now? Oh my god! If I if it's a group I'm, chat, but I think it is. You, you silence it. That was one of our group chats. Okay, but I'm just one of them. How many group chats? No, I mean that was that a was a lot of group chats. Saying, <laughs> that was one of the group chats that texted right now. But I got multiple group chats I, I, texting. I, I, I got so it's going to sound like ding 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 ding. I have grown <laughs> to hate the group chat. Yeah. I've grown to hate the concept of it. I can't stand it. Mm, no way, you. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm actually lighter. I think these everything days. in life just has a shelf life for you until you say, I've grown to hate the concept of it and I can't stand it. Yeah. But what have you not turned on in your opinion? Star Wars. You've never grown to hate it. What are you, nuts? Indiana Jones? I'm a Crystal Skull fan. Okay. Ooh. But those are just movies. What about like many bands uh, that I love? Okay. I will stick with. But out of a, if, if I was going to give you a pie graph of things you grow to hate and eventually got, can't stand, and things that stay the course with you, what is the breakdown? The things I grow uh, on, I, I get what you're going for, and I wish I had a funnier answer for you. But honestly, the things I don't I, need funny, babe. I just need the, the truth. The things I grow to hate <laughs> are usually a, something new that I'm introduced to that it seems great at first, and then it will get overused, like Lou Bega. Lou Bega is a good one. <laughs> uh, Ricky Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but like, but like, like, uh, like, uh, what was that? What was that app where you made the short videos? Vine. Vine. Like Vine. Like when Vine came out, I was like, this is the greatest social media. I loved it. I did it all the time. And then like after like two years, I was like, I hate this. I can't stand oh. it. It's so obnoxious. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. What? Do you have an archive of your Vines? How could I? They're, they're. They're gone. I thought maybe you might have had them on like your phone or something. No, but why? Because I want to see what you did in the six second. Six they were actually lines. very playful and like I love it. Oh, okay. I'm not saying it's going to be bad. I'm saying oh, I I, I, I want to enjoy them to the fullest. Okay, fullest. yeah, no, but uh, why does on, it? Wait, 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 scroll down. On the case. Oh, look at this. That was the first like. vine I ever did. That was the first vine I ever did. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God, Pip. All right, here we go. Oh, I mean, look, we're going to get to the battle. But think about how many vines we can watch at six seconds a clip before we even have to worry about it. <laughs> I don't it. see an account. I just found a single lone vine. Okay. That was the first vine I ever did. I don't remember what I was saying, but you, I was in a you, green room. You literally look like you're emo. You look like you're in the movie, like, singles. Don't you have better things to do? You look like, you look like Logic, the rapper Logic. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my Pimp, God. throw up a split screen right now of Logic oh and, and Joe. Old, old school me and Logic. Oh yeah, I never noticed that. <laughs> you do look like when he Logic. has a shaved head and the certain glasses, you look almost identical. <laughs> For real. But don't you have better things to do? No, you don't. I believe Seriously, this is what's wrong with you, man. You're so fucked up. I believe this was backstage at the Wilbur Theater. Burr was on stage. I was opening for him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this was me doing Larry. Oh wait, okay. Did you just find seven more vines? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is me and Pete Holmes doing him. Hold on, this is me and Can Pete you make doing him. I'm trying to make it big. Sorry, let's see. Uh, oh my God, you were on Vine. Sorry, I was thinking we should. Nibble was a thug, infatuated with guns. Nibble was a gangster, infatuated to work. Wait, I'm I'm sorry, I don't understand what's going on. Oh my God! Every time we talk, I can't hear what's going on. What do you say? I'm just trying to. The gag was that I was just talking, and then Pete comes in and starts going, never was a thug till I graduated to one, never was a gut. It was, I All forget right. what rap lyric that is. Uh, this is me I doing Larry say, David hands. My advice on the little side. Got you oh, to the, the first one. Check. Yo, I love this fresh new content. This is me doing Larry David. I gotta say, I gotta say, I gotta say took my advice on the little side. Got you to the love it's shack. Larry David talking about the love shack. A hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, wow, man, I haven't seen these in forever. There's there's another of, uh, there's a Pete Holmes one where he's like dancing that I remember. Wait, saying. wait, let's go with it. Let's see all these shits. There's the one with Pete on it with his sunglasses, I remember. Balls, balls, dick, dick, balls, 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 dick, dick, dick. <laughs> 
balls, balls, dick, dick, balls, 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 dick, dick, dick. This was the writer's room at his, t- at his TV show. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. that makes sense. Oh, no, this was my first post. <laughs> Your first post was uh, just the camera running? I don't think I knew what to do yet. I by the way, th- this is content he made in March 2014. Yeah. And wow. Only yeah. seven years ago, babe. Isn't that the year I met you? That was the year we met, I believe. And that was uh that was this was that was the year of my first TV writing up. But Pimp, go back for a second. There was a thing Is that Matt McCarthy? Matt McCarthy. Is doing, he still doing stand up? This is Matt McCarthy, I believe, doing Vince Vaughn Love Shack. You see a little sign at the well, goddamn it, it should be a big sign. You want people to know where the love shack is. That was Vince Vaughn? No, it was Vince, not Vince Vaughn, sorry, Vince uh, Vince McMahon doing Love oh, Shack. Oh, now I gotta watch it again. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's sorry. funny now. Sorry. <laughs> See a little sign at the well. Goddamn it, should be a big sign. You want people to know where the love shack is? <laughs> goddamn it, I'm trying to touch you. That now it makes sense. I was like, yeah. why was that Vince Vaughn? What's that one? Oh, this is Pacino doing Love Shack. You see a little sign by the side of the road that says "15 Mile to the Love." <laughs> <laughs> we were doing I remember one day In the writer's room We kept playing Love Shack And we were all doing Like takes on Love Shack So I did Larry David Matt did Vince McMahon Pete did uh, Al Pacino I never met Pete He's fun He's a very funny guy He's is he, very funny is he, out, is he doing stand up still? Yeah I, th- well, I don't know I don't know if he's on the road a ton I th- He's got a new TV show Coming out I believe There you go. Guy that almost I'm here for it. Sleep. I am here for it. I'm Wait, here but, for... but Pimp, go back to that page and, and hit back. There was a link. No, no, back. No, no, back. Back, the back button. <laughs> How does he know? To the, no, no, to the, to the search. Okay, yeah, just keep going back to the search. There was a link. I want to see what it was that had my name in it. Scroll down. Keep going. No, no, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Yes, Joe DeRosa Einstein from the Kids in the Hall. September 23rd. Oh, this was... Oh, that's right. Okay, sorry. Are we just doing a deep dive on DeRosa Country? No, no, but they were... <laughs> I remember doing this. They asked what my your favorite sketch of all time was, and I said it's the Einstein sketch from Kids in the Hall. But I was just talking about that on a podcast, so I was like... Why is that... I, I you know, and I but, were talking about it recently. Yeah. Was it? Was I that it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Maybe. Pretty sure. That's what it was. Anyway, all right. But anyway... It's an, that's an old, that's the old me. Yeah, you're talking to the new me because I am on. How do we get on this? Shrimp, vine. Oh, things I loved at first. And hated. I am. the group okay. text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The group text. <laughs> yeah. Uh, frozen yogurt. Ooh. Um. That. Why did you start to hate that? Just one day, I I, I got this tart taste from it, and I was like, I don't like this anymore. So reverse for me, right? I hated it because of the tart taste. Yeah. And then one day I was like, this ain't so bad. And now I look forward to it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, nah. Eh. I mean, I could eat it. I'll tell you some yeah. things I can't eat anymore. Well, let me think about this. Things that I just ate so much that I was like, I hate it now. Salmon. Salmon I still love raw, like with sushi. Raw, I could do it. And I could eat it salmon, once in a while. Like if I'm just like, I just want something healthy. I eat salmon and salad or something. But it's yeah. not, it's never enjoyable. Yeah, Lucky Charms fell out of favor for me, and then I and then it came back. I mean, I can't remember the last time I ate Lucky Charms. It's because it's like wood, except with marshmallows in it. No, no one agrees with that. <laughs> nobody <laughs> wants nobody wants the the brown parts. <laughs> nobody wants the tan the old, pieces. Whatever like the, the old hell they pieces? are. Yeah, yeah. No, not not too. Not not that's not, not true. true. Could you it's imagine a, eating a bowl of just that? It's a yin yang sitch. If you had a bowl of just the, the tan ones, those make the marshmallows more of a treat. That's what they I said. They tried to do all marshmallows, and you take it, and you're just like you're literally going to die that night. <laughs> it's, too, it's a bowl of. Sh- it's like it's too much. I'm, my head's going nuts right now. I, all well, I want let's is take egg it back rolls to, and shrimp. Yeah, cocktail let's take right it now. back to the egg roll and shrimp cocktail. Okay. Yeah. Shrimp cocktail. 
I mean, perfect uh, segue. Shrimp, shrimp cocktail is one of the things that that happened to me with. All right, let's just jump into the battle. This is because you're going to say we, we're, we're giving up too much. Let's just battle. Let's go. Oh, I thought that's what we were doing. I'm sorry. Oh, you didn't do the chance yet. We didn't do the chance. Oh, How right. could we be battling if we didn't do the chance? I, I thought you were just like, all I want to talk about is egg rolls and shrimp no, cocktail. No, I said all I want right now. Uh, but let's just do it. Let's all right. No matter what happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. No matter what happens, I love you. All right. B A T T L E Buds. See my new merch? I love it. Yes. Ours is coming out. I showed you the things yeah. today. They're at the printer. I know. I had to get my merch my merch done because I was taking it on tour. It's not up online yet. But this is one of the things. It's a Kraken attacking the Staten Island Ferry. And it's just. My, my name right By there. I wouldn't way. wear this in public. I can't I wear my wear own merch. merch shirts in public, but it's almost like you don't see my name. I told him, put my name really, really small so it just looks like a really cool graphic tee, and then you incidentally catch I'm going to take name. some of your merch home with me today. As you I'm should. Wear. By the way, speaking of merch and new things, uh, big announcement for the loyal band of Salsa Windfall followers oh, <laughs> that nice. came from this podcast. Oh, my God. Uh, we... Paul, my Paul's the other guy, and so it's me and my friend Paul. Uh, we have an album that has been on the shelf for five years. It's completed. It's mastered and everything. We never released it because we kind of didn't know what to do with it. And given the interest from certain people on this podcast, we are going to release the album. Amazing. There's a brand new Salsa Windfall album coming out. It's called Artificial Birth, and it will be a released... I don't know yet when it'll be released. I'm talking to my buddy who who owns a small label. They might put it out, or, or we might just on put what? it out. On what? Dude, it's so huh? easy to put out. It's so easy. Put out yeah, on what? So easy to put out. Uh, well, I want, I want, I want <laughs> Can to we do, isolate people it'll going, be digital. It's so easy to put yeah, out. Yeah, it'll on, be digital and vinyl, but vinyl's so backed out right, backed up right now. Are you going to do a music video? I think we're going to do a lot of things. Like oh, we're talking yeah. about doing some shows and like wow, and we're and we're working. Wow. We're working, but guys. Let's talk about athletic greens. Have we talked about athletic greens? We have. Yeah, we you know have. I use it every day. I know. Use it and today. I started using it because I have it now. Yeah, yeah. It's great. It's just uh, a mix that I pour. Very simple. I take a scoop out of my little canister I have in the fridge every day. I put it in a sixteen ounce glass of water, mix it up, and I drink it. And it's all the greens. It's got so much in it. Uh, it's it's vitamins. Seventy five high quality vitamins. Yes. Man, Minerals, whole food, source superfoods, probiotics, and oh boy. adaptogens, Dave. <laughs> Helps start your day right. It promotes good gut health. Uh, it curbs my appetite, although I'm not I'm not sure that that's what they're saying they do. <laughs> but it does. It really does. Yeah, no. I enjoy it. It's only 50 calories. That's and it, it tastes good. It doesn't taste like what most green juice tastes like, which is like earth. And what I also like about it, aside from the nutritional factor, uh, and that you're getting all this good stuff into your body, in the morning, I like to coast. I try not to eat right in the morning. I try to keep my meals truncated to a, you know a window every day if yeah. I can. And this helps you make that coast. Well, that might be. I think what they're doing for me it replaced my multivitamin. That's what it did for me. Yeah. Instead of having a multivitamin, I drink this, and it's actually it's it is more efficient and and i get the benefits of it faster mm -hmm. some people do it for energy uh, it costs less than three bucks a day uh it has over seven they have over seven thousand five star reviews uh the athletic green is a climate neutral certified company uh for every purchase they donate to organizations helping to get nutritious food to kids in need uh including no kid hungry here in and the united uh, states uh, it's also by the way it's trusted by leading health experts such as tim ferris and michael gervais athlete greens has athletic uh, been, or, or excuse me athletic greens has been uh, recommended by professional athletes that stuff to me carries water you know with a product like this i agree you know these are healthy people <laughs> seriously <laughs> they're not us that's for sure you know, yeah <laughs> right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition especially heading into the flu and cold season it's just one scoop and a cup of water every day that's it no need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health take it easy athletic greens is uh, to make it easy sorry athletic greens is going to give you a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin d and five travel packs with your first purchase all you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com com slash taste buds again that is athleticgreens.com slash taste buds to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance warby parker they're dealing with your spectacles <laughs> warby parker's 
committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and contact lenses. I like that there are one-stop Glasses shop. start at 95 beans, including prescription lenses. Try Warby Parker's free home try-on program. Order five pair of glasses to try on at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy any of it. Ships to you for free. Includes a prepaid return shipping label and you can try your stuff on in the comfort of your own home so to do that uh, i've done it i've yeah, actually done it yeah go to warbyparker.com slash taste buds if you want to do that i've done it too uh you take a little quiz and you order the kit they send it to you You try everything on you send it back and you know look it, it, what i liked about it was being able to try the style and the fit in the comfort when i'm in a glasses store yeah whatever it's called an eye place yeah an eye shop uh i i feel like i'm i get tense like i'm trying to well a couple things on. one yeah. is that you like you really can't get a sense in the store with the mirrors they have and like you want to like like you want to like try on all these different things but at home you get them you could sit with them you could actually wear them for yeah. a little while longer because sometimes i've had the experience where i've purchased glasses and then i wear them for an extended amount of time and i'm like oh these actually pinch my nose or they hurt so you could keep them on a little longer to make sure they fit right you could try them on with different outfits you could just you know keep them on for a day and, and just feel them out more you know what i mean yeah and it's not just glasses they offer uh you know one a day contact lenses disposables uh their uh, warby parker's styles range from extra narrow to extra wide to fit all shape of faces and everything which is nice because some of these products are built for one type of face um download the warby parker app if you like where you can try the glasses on virtually allowing you to to, to check this stuff out on your phone and seeing realistic colors and textures and sizes and that's on your thing. iphone x again five pairs of glasses try them at home for free warbyparker.com slash taste buds that's warbyparker.com slash taste buds on new music for whatever the next record would be but I, I called paul and i was like you know man like this got brought up on the podcast when i wasn't even there and people are starting to like write to me about it and i'm like we should just put the record out finally like finally we found some people that, that care <laughs> <laughs> so um Amazing. we should do like a you know what it's just you're just because i was like you should do do some songs before a live pod and we'll have like some g games this guest this that and i was trying to and I immediately put together this little show in my head and i was like we should just do it at the gramercy every once in a while and i'm like we should do a residency at the gramercy where we'll do like a taste buds one month hey babe the next taste buds one month Dude. and we'll do a one night uh one night residency at the gramercy and we'll do the, each podcast every other month I told Chris. What do you think about that? I want to do that right now. Yeah. Let's go. Really? I, I've yeah. been wanting to do that forever. I, I think we could do that. And I've talked to Chris just, about it. Chris wants to do it. We thought that you would be the X factor and why we might not be able to because of some sort of competitive competition clause. With what? We didn't know. We didn't know if like you had other like headlining dates in, the, in well, New York or whatever. I might have to wait until May 14th because on May 14th, <laughs> your boy is playing the Beacon Theater here in New York City. That's fine. Uh, tickets are on sale right this second at SavileCanoComedy.com. I have never headlined New York, Joe, so I cannot put up a competing show at the Grammar I wish I was in town. I wish you were too. I mean, it would be cool if you could have joined me, but you can't, and that is what it is. I, I, I wasn't even saying for that. I just wish I was in town so see I could it? see it. Oh, that's cool, man. And hang yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, but, uh, but have fun. That's awesome. Come on. That's it's awesome. the first First time I'm headlining the hometown. It's awesome. Uh, so it, hyped. It, it, we're, we're hyped for a Pimpy. We'll be there. We're going to record it, actually. And Wait, uh, Didn't you guys do the garden? Didn't, didn't yeah, I'm solo, though. Solo. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, I was... Yeah, I got you. you do, that's amazing. That's awesome. I know. It's a dream come true, so I'm super psyched. It's May 14th. It's on sale right now. Um, But yeah, this Gramercy thing, we've talked about it a lot, and Pimp... Uh, uh, Chris and I actually talked about where I said... I, we were talking, and I said, Chris, we should do a thing, because of the Babe Fest that you guys did, right? I was like, we should do a thing called Presh Fest, where we all go out. Chris was like, dude, we could do it in more, like, lesser-known cities, so we're not going into markets. The travel is what's tough. The yeah, travel. It would be, and we wouldn't do it anytime soon, but the point yeah. is, is, like, it would be a fun idea. But basically, what I was pitching to Chris is this thing that you just said, which is we all do a thing together at, at a small theater one night and yeah. just have a blast. Yeah. We should hunt a thousand percent do it. Yeah. We should. Okay. Yeah. If we do the Gramercy shows, can you cater it? Yeah. I, I can have employees cater it. No, no yeah. <laughs> I, Honestly, I don't want you to serve sandwiches, Which, dude. No, here's a great... Okay, this is a great story, Pimp. This is great. Yes, the answer is yes. Okay. Uh, this is a great story. In fact, Joey Roses, 
We sent a food truck. Michael Che, the great Michael Che, hired us. We sent a food truck to the set of HBO's show, that damn Michael Che show, oh, yesterday. Boy. 100 sandwiches. Uh, went out to Che and the crew. Big ups to Che for supporting. Thank you, man. That was huge for us. Really appreciate it. Um, That's cool. So you got a truck to go deliver it? We rented a truck. And, did and you, we drove out. We put, a, we put our logo on it, and we no, drove out. Did you, did you make the sandwiches as they ordered, or did you have them and then just... just I was not there, right? But uh, but I mean, yeah, the guys were making this. Yeah, okay, it was awesome. And, and, and you ended up buying a hundred sandwiches. We they 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 it was for a hundred people. Okay, got it. so we I don't know how many sandwiches they ultimately did. That's but. so cool. I didn't know you could do that. Otherwise, I would do it for my crew too. Uh, you can do it, and we can do it. <laughs> awesome. I'll do it for the crew soon. Then great. I right. actually catered Joey Roses at the Super Bowl party that Pimp was at was that I had, and we had a really really nice spread and. And uh, the thing that kicked off the entire, all the food, because we ended up having like, you know, wings and rice bowls and this and that, but it was three platters of Joey Roses. Huge hit. I've eaten so much Joey Rose. I've eaten every sandwich. Are you now. really enjoying it? You're not just saying huge hit for no reason? No. Okay. Dude, I've eaten <laughs> every single one of your sandwiches now. Okay, good. And I can't even, I, every time I, I have a new one, I'm like, ah, my, my favorites change. They are so good. Thanks, I actually still have like, a couple of slices downstairs in tinfoil because tinfoil aluminum or tin uh-huh. Alum- I don't know you used to say tin it used to be tinfoil I think it's called aluminum foil now I think tin is aluminum though isn't it Foil's made from- thin leaf of tin tinfoil well, what have you point uh, is I have them downstairs I even had some slices today really yeah thanks buddy Appreciate it. Some new sandwiches coming soon. But so I just I just ordered three platters. I didn't. Michael Che. He ordered a whole food truck. Thanks a lot. For, <laughs> thanks a lot for. Uh, uh, we loved we every as much love went into your three platters as that went into that right. food truck. All right. Um, but no, this is a funny story. So I was uh, headlining um, uh, banana go go. It's just bananas. Or is it go bananas? bananas. The one in Jersey. Bananas. bananas. All right. Great. People, nice staff, fun club. The shows were very fun. Thanks to the buds that came out. It was really fun. But um, I was telling the story on stage. It's a true story. I was talking to Robert Kelly the day I was doing this first show, and he goes, where are you at tonight? And I go, bananas. And I go, where are you? And he goes, Uncle Vinny's. And I go, what are we doing, dude? <laughs> what are we doing with our lives, right? And he goes... You think that's bad? He goes, De Stefano is headlining the beacon tomorrow night. And he goes, he goes, I was there last night to see Eddie Vedder. I wanted to hide in the rafters until he got there and murder him. And I go, you think that's bad? He's having an after party at the beacon after a show, and I'm catering it. <laughs> Which was the truth. That's great. And I, I was just, I opened the show every night with that story. And that's I was right. just like, I'm finished. That's great. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. So uh, Bobby, I invited Bobby to the Super Bowl party too, actually. Couldn't make it. He's so funny. They're both, I love both those guys. Uh, I would like to fight you now. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Got away from us. All right. All right. Let me tell you the journey I took with Shrimp Cocktail. All right. Because I, I want to was... call back to something you said earlier that okay. was just insane. Go ahead. You first. Well, I mean, with Shrimp Cocktail, I grew up not... You know, when you're little, you don't just pound shrimp. Then there's a day where you're like, oh, I see this. I see what this is tasty, and I see the benefit in this. And, you know, and then you go through good and bad shrimp. Like, when you're getting those expensive, tight, like those big, you know, jumbo, jumbo ones that, like, steamed at a steamed steakhouses, <laughs> that's good shrimp, you know. Right. But what is the most likely shrimp you're getting? It's not that. Well, you got different breeds of shrimp. First of all, when it's not deveined, I will tell you this. I remember the day that I didn't realize that shrimp had to be deveined. I was somewhere with friends, and I was in a restaurant, and they brought us a shrimp salad. I had a salad with shrimp on it, and uh, my friend's like, oh, look at all that. And I'm like, oh, what is that? And he's like, that's shit. Mm-hmm. Like that shit in their intestinal tract that they didn't clean out. Right. And I said, that's what that is? Yeah. And I didn't know that prior to that. And ever since then... I took a left turn at Albuquerque as far as shrimp goes. But that's not fair. That, that's pretty, but that's if preparation. You, if, you, if you pay attention, though, more times than not, even in a nice place, they miss it. No. And then I just feel like I'm eating no. shrimp shit. Not true at all. I have very rarely I'm you about my experience, though. encountered a, a, a veined shrimp. 
Okay. By the way, why do we call it veined? It's a log of shit in the shrimp. Why do they call it? Sh- why don't they call it de-shitting it? It's not a vein. You have to do that with any animal you consume. You realize, right? The precious pork chunks in your egg roll. You know where that came from? A pig that had to be de-shitted before it was chopped up and turned into no, pork roll. That would pork. be like if I was eating a whole goddamn pig at one time, and I was like, "Did you clean the shit out?" No. You're eating a whole shrimp, man. No, you're not eating a whole shrimp. I mean, you shrimp. plucked it all up, but you're eating being, all the meat. They're, they're being shelled. All kinds of stuff. No, no, is no. Happening. But I'm saying, it's pig- like saying a fish. Oh, it's gross because a fish has to be gutted. Of course, it has to be gutted before you can eat it. Yeah, but a pig, you could slice off a, a peak, a, a, a chunk of it, and it, it's not a part that needs to be de shitted. When you're eating a shrimp, you're eating the whole Guess shrimp. Guess what it does? Whole- because the pig literally was living in shit 24 okay. hours Bad a day. It has, it has. Oh, it's the it's the you crux of your egg roll is the pork chunks. Nobody wants a porkless egg roll. I got news for you. Yeah, but I'm saying vegetarian think, egg roll. If that's the only thing on the menu, I'm walking to the next Chinese place. Well, I'm thinking of pig little uh, pork little things, little chunks in my egg roll. Yeah. I'm not thinking of shit in its intestinal tract. Well, when you're eating a shrimp, when you're eating a shrimp, no matter what, it's the whole shrimp. I mean, you're taking the head off, but it's the whole meat. It's the whole, the whole body, right? I mean, it's, no, but the head's gone, the legs are gone, the shell's gone. But you're eating the the lion's shit like this. You're eating the whole body. Well, it's a tiny. You're eating the lion share of the pig as well. No, most, a pig most is, there's so many different see, cuts. Do you of ever pig. see a gutted pig whole? It's a whole goddamn pig. They just took the the guts out. That's it. You never saw a pig hanging in a window split. No matter what it's you're a whole saying, goddamn all I'm pig. saying is n- I don't lift a pig to my mouth and look and see the whole body. You ever went to a pig roast? Did you ever go to a pig roast but where they're cutting it off the body of the yes, whole sir. pig? Yes, and that's fine. But I don't look at a pig's intestinal tract with my own eyes right before I pop it into but my you mouth. you don't let a shrimp eat her because it's been removed. No, I'm telling you're you. You're talking. You see the crease where it used to be. No, babe. That, but I'm telling you a lot, more times than you'd care to imagine if you look. They don't always catch it. You're going to you're going to bad shrimp joints. Is why are they you're going to bad shrimp? You, you know what you're doing? We, you're going up to those city island shrimp joints. You're going city up. To, you're going up to those shanty shacks on city island. What are you talking about? Do you ever go to city island? There's all these like big, gigantic, like you know, crazy seafood places. Oh, is there really? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and then but then if you talk to anybody from city island, you go, that looks fun. They go, it's tourist shit. It's it sucks. Terrible. But you know, like, but why whatever. do we call it D-Vane? I don't know. It's it's because they, they we call it deveining because did you, did you just have it pimp or yeah. was, it, was because, that it the the dark line in the back of the shrimp is their digestive tract removing it matter because it looks like so a vein. read it so that someone can understand what you're saying <sighs> boy oh boy <laughs> although we call it deveining the dark line you see <laughs> on the back of shrimp is their digestive tract removing it is a matter of personal preference and taste not hygiene it's not harmful for us to eat. Then Go after not- yourself. If the vein is really pronounced dark or thick, you may want to de-vein the shrimp for a tidier okay, look. Okay, so Pimp, I want you oh to... Oh, my go- God. Wait a second. Pimp, Who? I want you to Google if, if there's species in that, in that thing. It says it's a digestive tract. Well, well, tell me if there's poop in it. Period. Det- why do they call it deveining? Because they can't say we got to rip the shit out. It's actually not a vein in the circulatory sense. Cir- circulatory sense, it's the shrimp. The dark color means it's filled with grit. Yeah, grit. So replace the G R with an S H. It's filled with shit. Mm-hmm. Grit. This is big shrimp trying to market it to is us. It's poop. It's it poop. poop. It's body waste, aka poop. They just said, and they're calling it but grit. We were really focusing on the worst. I mean, this is like crazy. I'm right sorry. Now. One of my arguments that egg roll is better than shrimp is that a lot of times, if I lift a shrimp to my mouth, it's got visible let's, shit in let's it. Let's go back. Let's go back to which is not true. You're eating a bad shanty shrimp shacks, and I will stick to that. Okay, but. I will say this. I want to go back to something you... Wait, Pimp, you want to jump in? I just wanted to say, doesn't it feel like when you eat shrimp, you're eating a water bug? That's why I don't like Now it, it does, Pimp. No. You just ruined it for me forever. No. I'll never have another shrimp ever. Now let's go... You said, you said, gonna, you said something so crazy feel, about egg bug. rolls. You said, I've never had a bad egg roll. You are insane, dude. I I've honestly think that egg roll is something that is made very consistently everywhere. No. 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 And here's why you're wrong. It's made consistently in New York area and New Jersey and Pe- and Philadelphia area Chinese restaurants. You start to go to Chinese places that don't have the, the, the American Chinese culture of food that we have here. You go to L.A. and try to get an egg roll. It ain't happening, Tuts. It ain't happening. 
You're getting a tiny Who little thing to? wrapped in pre- <laughs> paper that looks like a spring roll. Yeah. Do you ever buy egg rolls in the store? No, I hate when the people grocery? try to pass off a spring roll as an egg roll. I, it drives me nuts. But do you ever buy egg rolls at the grocery that they make there? They, they, they're they terrible, dude. They're disgusting. you got to make an egg roll the right way. And well, I'll tell you, I'm there's from... about four states in the union, this great union <laughs> no of ours, way. that do it correctly. You're out of your mind. I'm not out of my you're mind. Out of your, you're, I'm not. You're, you're off your egg roller. I'm not. Oh, no, you're come not. on. All right. I just want to go back to yours because it's been loaded with shit. So... I used to like but get it. To, get but, to why you but like it. What do you it. do with it? If you don't have cocktail sauce, what do you do with your shrimp cocktail? A little squirt of lemon on it? What do you do? If I, I don't have cocktail sauce. I, I don't like tartar sauce. What I'll tell you hell? that much. I, you I, like t- I'm, you not, I'm not eating sauce? it if I don't have cocktail sauce. Okay. Boom. That's part why? of the dish. Cocktail. That's why it's called shrimp cocktail. Okay. But a chilled shrimp is not is not good without the cocktail sauce? That says a lot, doesn't no, it? No, it doesn't say a lot. I like chilled shrimp. You won't even eat chilled shrimp without the cocktail sauce. I will eat chilled. So what is it that you like, Joe? I would eat chilled. Is it the cocktail I would eat sauce chilled sh- or the shrimp cocktail? Hold on a second. I would eat chi- This is ridiculous. That's Why? like saying- Because I made a good point. Do you ever eat an egg roll without duck sauce? It bites. It bites. It, the duck sauce is part of the dish. You're wrong. Just like the cocktail sauce is part You're of the shrimp cocktail. And, and I'll eat chilled shrimp on a salad. Part of the chi- I'll eat chilled, chilled shrimp on a salad. Okay, so you will eat it. Yes, I said I'm not going to order shrimp cocktail if they go, we're out of cocktail sauce. So I'm, I'm not going to enjoy this What I'm asking you is if there was a bunch of chilled shrimp out and there was no cocktail sauce, would you not, would you not eat the shrimp? No, I'd eat them. You just said you wouldn't. No, what I'm saying, Sal, is if I go to a restaurant and I say, can I have a shrimp cocktail? And they go, you know what? We ran out of cocktail sauce, but I can bring the shrimp. I go, nah, I'm going to get something else. It's not going to be the same experience. If I'm at a party and there's chilled shrimp readily available, I'll eat it. Without the cocktail sauce? Yeah. Okay. But yes, I'm just trying to just decipher as if if it's the cocktail sauce that you love. I'm saying if I'm spending money on a shrimp cocktail, I want it the way I want it. That's what I'm saying. Okay, because I nothing. Love, I love cocktail sauce. It's great, but I don't love shrimp all the time. It's a fifty fifty shot. If I'm eating a shrimp, if I'm like I'm into this shrimp, or I'll never call this shrimp back. You know what I mean? No. Like sometimes you ever get a shrimp that's like 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 very loose and. Like floppy, yeah. Like it's just, it's just. Li- it looks almost old. Like you don't want to yeah. eat it. Well, well, what about what about? <laughs> I never do this. <laughs> <laughs> what about when yeah. shrimp is bad and it smells fishy and it's like, yeah, that's called rotten food, Sal. These arguments no, you no, no, make no, but sometimes. Sea- seafood is known. You got to be careful with seafood. Yeah, but an you need roll, to make sure it's fresh. An egg, roll, you, yes. an egg roll is fried. You're taking that thing out of the plastic wax wrap. You're shoving that thing down your throat like you like you have but, a hunter. But, but 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 you're not speaking to the quality of the dish when you say if if it goes rotten, it's gross. Of course. How do I know yeah. if my shrimp is bad? If the bodies appear loose within the shell or if there are black spots on the shell, it's likely that the flesh has started to decompose inside. Also ensure that the shells are firm and glossy. If the shells are broken and slippery or slimy, yeah. the shrimp is likely to be spoiled and shouldn't yeah. be purchased. That's so like what I'm saying, Joe. If you make clams or I'm, mussels and any of them are open I'm or just broken, speak, I'm just speaking to yeah. the I'm speaking to the uh, uh, attribute, the attribute that comes along with shrimp, which is it's seafood and you got to be careful because you you run a risk of having bad I shrimp. I get that, but, but but come on. What are we talking about here? We're talking about the dish itself when it's right. Yes. That's what we're well, talking about. I'm just telling you about my experience with shrimp and why I've fallen in and out of uh, grace with it. Yeah, I'm tell- okay, saying? then let's talk best versus best. Okay. Let's talk best Fair. versus best, okay? You go to a Chinese restaurant, nine times out of ten, the best version of that egg roll is the exact same thing across the board. Hold on, though. You go- no, 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 let me finish. You go to a steakhouse... And you get the best version of a shrimp cocktail, it is leagues grand slam above what you would get at uh, at a standard, you know, a TGI Friday's style, but, style but that's place just, or whatever. That's because there's so much bad shrimp. You can't just not talk. bad shrimp. There's classes of shrimp. You, right. And I and I don't I'm not just gonna talk the best class. I, I realize now not? that doesn't make any sense though. Because I have to talk about the experience of eating shrimp in I'm my life. I'm saying lifetime. though, I'm talking about I am. I'm talking about the whole sp- thing but you i'm wanted saying to go if best on best i said let's talk best on best for a moment but you have no scale of quality in best, your thing it's either good or it sucks that's it with an egg roll I, I honestly i rarely 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 have an egg roll that is not exactly what i need it to be get one off of i Staten often Island. i often maybe like 60 40 70 30 have shrimp that i am not happy with does that make sense no why does that not make sense? Because I've I have not had that experience. I, I I every time I get shrimp cocktail, I'm pretty satisfied with it. 
you know, or gloriously satisfied. When it's bad, it's been you don't order it enough. You don't order enough because I, I was order a it fan. All the time. I was a fan of shrimp cocktail, and the reason that I'm I've fallen out of love with it is because I ordered it so much that I I ha- I've experienced so much hit or miss that I'm like done with it. I'm done with it. And you know what? If the shit comes delivered to me with the shit, I'm not even sending it back. I'm just like I'm not eating this. Well, where are you getting your shrimp and if it gets, cocktail if it, from? If it gets floppy, if you go to a quality place, it's not place, nice and chilled, and it gets like a little bit. But if you go to room a quality temp, place with a raw bar and that knows what they're like, it's yeah. Never but I'm like not just that. gonna talk. What I'm saying is, an egg roll is way more consistent than shrimp cocktail, and for the most part, oh, when in, I get an egg the, roll, in, 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 it's a in delicious, the tri-state area. crunchy thing that I want it to in be. In the tri-state area, and I run uh, a lot tell more me risk how the of getting rolls something in, I don't want I would, when I order a shrimp cocktail. Go to, go to Canada and tell me how the egg rolls are up there. <laughs> go up to Canada. I'm not going to go to Canada, but Joe. But I'll tell you what. I live here. I'll get, a, I'll get a shrimp cocktail in Canada. I'll be pretty goddamn but happy with why it. Why are we talking about flying to another country? <laughs> I'm saying... The egg roll that you're defending right now, which I love, which I'm a fan of, is an egg roll that is is that is indigenous to a four state region of the United well, States. Well, then I'm going to get housed. In and this when battle. you go elsewhere, egg rolls take on a whole new meaning and drop in quality like you can't believe. Okay, you're talking. I've had Chinese food on the it's road. Like, it's like the pizza argument, where it's like it's like or the cheesesteak argument, whatever. There's this. There's a region in the country where that stuff se- seems to shine well, a bit. Well, more. well, then I, then I guess I'm defending that version, and I guess I'm screwed because if you're telling me that it's not good outside of four unions in this great country of ours, not four unions. Four states in this great within union our union, yes. yes. Then, then I'm going to get killed because shrimp cocktail is a global food. Better help, better help. I like better help. We are sponsored by Better Help. They're great. Uh, uh, this po- fuck. All right, start again. Better help, better help. I like better help. This podcast is sponsored by Better Help Online Therapy. Relationships take work, folks, and a lot of us will drop anything to go help someone we care about. We'll go out of our way to help other people, to treat other people well. But how often do we give that treatment to ourselves? I've only learned recently uh, for sure that self-care and self-treatment is very important and therapy is important. That's one of the ways I take care of myself. I agree. I agree. I think, uh, you know, a lot of people do it by hitting the gym. Uh, they make time for their haircut. Uh, they try therapy. Uh, and But... At the end of the day, no matter what you're doing, you are your greatest asset. So invest the time in yourself, the effort into yourself, like you do for other people, okay? Like that's important. It's and mental I've, gym. People yeah. go to the gym all the time. They exercise. You got to do the same thing for your brain. It's the reason I go to therapy on a regular basis. You just get stuff out. You process stuff, and it's just good health. It's just good mental health. I talked about therapy on this episode. I talked. We talked about it on this episode. Yeah. We believe in it. Do it for yourself. The podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Taste Bud listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Taste Buds. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Taste buds give a try and see why over two million people have used better help online therapy uh we're talking about factor right now factor is a uh in-home meals get sent to you in home right yes and you could choose from like keto friendly carb light uh healthy normal all this stuff they have all these different packaging options for the type that you get delivered right i did it uh and i'm not kidding you for for four days straight i ate factor they sent it to me and I was eating healthier immediately because the, the meals are only about 500 calories and they're loaded with protein and not high in sugar or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, they sent these strawberry banana smoothies um, in a bottle that I would drink. And they're so low on sugar. One thing is like when you ever you drink a smoothie or something, it's usually high in yeah, sugar. Yeah. They were low in sugar. I started my morning off every morning. By the time I f- went through all the food and the stuff, I was like, I was looking forward to it so much. I'm going to order it again. I'm waiting for my factor order to arrive. Yeah. But I am very excited about it. Yeah, it's great. And they have like really, really good meals too. Like, and, and another thing is, I've done ones in the past. It's been a while now, but I've done ones in the past. Factor sends enough food that I actually am like, I'm actually getting full before I yeah, finish it, which is that's great. crazy. So it's not about cooking at home. It's not about having to meal prep for yourself. They just, you pick it out. They 
prepare it for you and they send it and it's ready to eat it's fresh never frozen uh you can eat clean 24 7 after four days i felt good about myself great i really great. did um prepared meals are so easy but they're good for you uh it saves you time they deliver chef crafted meals to your doorstep eliminating the hassle of shopping clean up because you can eat it right out of the packaging they send it in 29 meal options uh, every week uh also th they learn your preferences which is nice so yeah you know, like they i said offer, you, vegan yeah. Vegan, veggie, veggie keto. keto, locale, cold pressed, energy, smooth, plant based, protein, <laughs> veggie size. It's really cool. It's just yeah. I like the way they package it too. And uh, yeah, I mean, and you heat it, you heat it up for two minutes, which is also like lights out fast. Wow. Like every meal I had was two minutes in the microwave. I love it. So I, love I would it. come home, be starving, after getting home from work at like eight, nine o'clock at night. I love it. And I just look, and I end up eating a healthy option instead of a terrible one, and it was ready in two minutes. I love it. I love it. And Go I can't say enough about the strawberry banana smoothie in the morning. Head to go dot factor seventy five dot com slash taste buds one two zero. They and we never said that that part was going to be easy. Yeah, and use code taste buds one two zero to get one hundred twenty dollars off. That's code taste buds one two zero at go.factor75.com slash taste buds 120 for $120 off. Well, I'm going to get I, my ass, I, I get my bring ass that up. to I me. wasn't going to bring that up. I wasn't going to bring that up because I do feel bad for you <laughs> because it is a global food. I don't think shrimp cocktail is much without cocktail sauce. Go to China. Have you ever been to China? I've been to China. Ask for an egg roll in China. They'll scoff at you. How dare you? Well, it's American you? Chinese food. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. But that's, you know, there. Yeah. Oh, well, right. I mean, it's, you know. I like a warm, crispy, flaky Who doesn't? pastry wrapped around some delicious pork cabbage filling. You crunch into it. It's crunchy and hot, and then it's it, the texture is great on the chew. I always, whenever I finish an egg roll, I'm always like, I wish they were bigger. As a matter of fact, this is my my plea. My, 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 uh, uh, anyone that is involved in Chinese restaurants in this area, why not make a supersized egg roll. Make it twice as too long. Too much. No. Make it twice as it's long. It's too much. I always want more when no, I'm done with but, it. But that's why you get two. And I will tell you this, and I will promise you this. You will enjoy eating two of those than a supersized egg roll. You might be right. You don't want it. It's you like may saying, it's like, be right. Yeah, it's like saying, I want a supersized Dorito. You don't. I mean, well, you don't. You don't. Mm. It's, they're, they're better in, you know what I mean? Mm. But like here, I'll give you another thing. I'll give you another accolade towards the shrimp cocktail and a strike against the egg roll. Shrimp cocktail puts down on the table. I can eat it right away. Egg roll? Did you ever been in a bite of an egg roll? It's too hot. It'll burn the skin off the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Often with egg rolls, I had to learn a trick That's from a friend of mine. That's just you having to learn not to be a moron. <laughs> no, but I like that the food comes. I'm hungry. I can eat it right away. A lot of times with egg rolls, I have to poke holes in it with a fork and then press down to get the steam uh, out I don't of know. It. The, the, the anticipation is even better than Oh, please. The, anticip the anticipation is I'm driving to the restaurant and then sitting down and ordering. That's the anticipation. Nobody, nobody has ever dropped an egg roll on the table in my lifetime, where I didn't want to immediately eat the egg roll. And I don't mean like eat That's it right away. I mean. Immediately. No, no, no. I don't mean eat it right away. I've had shrimp in front of me at restaurants, parties, on the table, where I've opted to forego the shrimp. Okay. And okay. I've been at weddings where they've passed around trays of egg rolls that I didn't want because it looked like shit. And it looked gross. At weddings? Yeah, you've never seen the little egg rolls being carried around at weddings and cocktail parties but and you're stuff bringing like that? In, you're bringing in... Or you go to like one of these wedding dumb... Wedding egg rolls? You go to one of these dumb industry parties for, for comedy or whatever. I'm always and, taking the egg roll, man. And no they're carrying around the egg rolls. Egg roll? And that's not followed by me extending my hand and clasping an egg roll and then shoving it into All my right, mouth. Let's go to the... I want to I go to the phones here. No! I, yes. Why are we going to the phones? I'm not done talking. All right, keep talking. Go ahead. You keep you talking. Will you acknowledge my point, though? What? If someone, like, if we were at a Chinese restaurant, and, and like I, I order a combo meal, whatever, and they bring out the egg roll. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The other most famous egg roll staple is shrimp egg roll. It's pork or shrimp egg roll. That's okay. I'm talking about shrimp cocktail. So you <laughs> can't have your thing without shrimp. So you can't you're not, you're have You're not it. arguing shrimp, And guess buddy. what? They're tiny shrimp. Are you checking to make sure they're deveined when you eat that shrimp egg roll? I don't eat shrimp egg roll, number one. So never, you go. Never. You'll never do it. Never. Never do nope. it. Nope. Never do no, it. No, I don't eat the small shrimp. They're not good Bullshit. for you. Bullshit. They're full of a chemical. Bullshit. I don't eat baby little, little, little shrimp shrimp. Okay. I do not eat them. All right. They're not good for you. They, they have a, some type of... A, 
Why is shrimp so nasty? That's that's an article, folks. Why is shrimp so nasty? Imported farm shrimp comes with a whole bevy of contaminants, antibiotics, residues from chemicals mm-hmm. used to clean pens, filth like mouse mm-hmm. hair, rat hair, and pieces of insects. Yes. This is why they say you should oh. eat farmed fish. This is all farmed fish. This is not, you know. Okay, let's look up. Let's look up what the, what's in the in the ingredients of the TGI Friday frozen egg roll. You're going to get a slew of chemicals in that too. We're not talking about that. We're talking about when it's done I'm right. I'm not talking about frozen food. That's your egg rolls. Your right, precious well, egg rolls are frozen, frozen in the supermarket. Is, is shit too. But my point I'm is, is a, like, a dead of fish course, if you go to the worst version a of year it, ago, pimp. I want you to look up what goes inside the average mass-produced egg roll. Yeah, that's Let's a, see. That, that's a that's a that's a succinct article to pull up. Oh, what goes inside the average mass-produced? Oh, egg the roll? Southwest egg roll. Is there anything worse than a Southwest egg roll? God, it's gross. Buddy, if you want to go into frozen shrimp right now, how disgusting is that? No, I just frozen said, cooked shrimp. I said the or south, frozen raw. Shrimp? I said the south. I get frozen shrimp all the time. At the You're eating a, a fish that got killed eight months earlier. I don't care. I don't care. But we're talking gross. I don't think that's gross. You're eating a shit-filled fish. I buy frozen that was killed, shrimp that was all killed the time at the supermarket. And I thaw it out ago. in ice-cold water, and then I have an ice-cold shrimp cocktail with it. I do that. And it's none of your business that I do that. You ever eaten a shrimp and get a get a smell of that that fishy shrimp smell? Because you're eating a rotten shrimp, Sal. No, not just rotten. What are you Sometimes talking it still about? it smells shrimpy. What is some of the gro- gross things inside egg rolls? There's got to be something. What about when you bite into a shrimp and it's stringy? Oh. That means it's it not a good shrimp, Sal. Out. All right. Well, then there's a what lot of What about when you're biting into an egg roll and you realize it's from TGI Fridays? Ugh. No, but What about when you're biting no, into an I'm egg roll and you realize the, you're a Chili's and no, it's a Southwest egg no, roll? Ugh. No, I'm talking about the genetic composition of an actual whole shrimp, like a, of a fish itself. The texture of a fish's f- shrimp's flesh, bro. I'm not talking about the brand because it's that not selling the egg fresh roll. anymore. When you're eating it like no, that, no, it's not true. Sometimes you can bite into a shrimp just fine, and you pull it, and it kind of like rips apart stringy. I don't have that problem. I don't know what you're to not. Tell you. You're not admitting to any of shrimp cocktails' faults. I am admitting to faults, but I am countering your argument about the faults with the fact that that is not quality shrimp. I don't know what to tell you. There is a certain. There's and a. What there's, I'm saying is. You, I had to judge shrimp cocktail on my lifetime of experience with it. All right. All right. right. I'm All just right. saying, like, it is a valid thing for me to say one of the reasons that I don't love shrimp as much as I kind of used to is because I've had so many, so much experience with it, and a lot of times to me, it doesn't, it, it doesn't hit the mark. I want to see what some of the fans are saying. I, un- but I, I don't feel point. that way with egg rolls. I just feel like an egg roll is an egg roll is an egg roll. Some are better than others, but even the worst egg roll is like, damn, that's still a good egg roll. And I always nope. look forward to an egg roll because nope. I don't have it as much as, I, I, as that shrimp is available, believe it or not. No. Yeah, because I'm not eating an egg roll unless ah. I'm ordering Chinese food. Shrimp cocktail is available way, in way more Caged instances. pigeons found in basement of Chinese buffet <laughs> of, in Fargo. This is what I mean. Get out of the tri-state area. This is, this is what you start finding Caged in the egg rolls. Caged pigeons found in basement of... Ch- oh, no, they're not. My, dad's, they're not. my dad said that used to go on in Queens. They're not serving pigeons. Who are they knows? serving pigeons? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Well, let's. What do they apologize for? Just having pigeons? <laughs> I mean, that's enough to apologize oh for. Oh my god, they're in a cage. But why do they have them? Uh, look, they got eighty-seven pigeons in a cage. I'm whole, assuming it's not their pets. I mean, it's this. It's not eighty-seven. Is the whole thing redacted? Yeah, it looks like a nice restaurant too. When they're showing the the, the dining area, that looks like a nice photos restaurant. Were taken by the public health official. Oh my god! They didn't like scramble to remove the cages of pigeon when the health official showed up. Oh, that's that's a that's a set of stones right who, there. Who are they? Joey Roses? Oh come on! <laughs> oh, no. How dare you? <laughs> oh, no. Look, that looks like a nice little like Chinese restaurant, right? Like if I went in there, I'd, I'd be like, like, like oh, nice this a cute little thing." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you never know. Tim, take us to the phones. Okay. All right, John Decker says, shrimp cocktail is a limp handshake and egg rolls are a warm hug. Shrimp, Word up. Shrimp cocktail feels lazy. Class it up with a nice glass and ice. Yeah, that's maybe some jazzed up ketchup, please. I love that he's saying it's it's not. It, he, this guy's talking defending a fried piece of dough with pork inside. No, it. he says that rightfully so. He says that crispy and succulent. Is there pork I also or like is it veggie? veggie? Oh, yeah, veggie egg rolls blow. 
No, they're great. Is there a fun dip? There better be. Otherwise, it sucks. Also, babe, duck sauce. You want If you want a tout shrimp cocktail, which I do love. I really do love. I love the cocktail sauce more than the shrimp. Okay? But duck sauce, what a treat. No? I love duck sauce. Duck sauce to the egg rolls, the cocktail sauce to the shrimp. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying shrimp cocktail is way better, but I don't remember Brad Pitt eating egg rolls in Ocean's Eleven. Shrimp cocktail is the cooler hors d'oeuvre, and it's not close. Okay? But we're not judging on cool. Once I ate a whole platter of shrimp, and I threw it all up, so I picked egg rolls. Either way, I hope DeRosa is yelling at something. Love it when my man gets heated. Uh, Egg rolls are more versatile. Shrimp cocktail is just iced up fish with a sauce that can't make up its own mind. You might win this one. Nah. After getting, f- you know. But this is, th- that's not an argument. I got food poisoning from shrimp, so now I'm voting egg roll. Well, that's listen, not an argument. Listen to this. It just comes with an egg roll. They're giving it away. I don't want it. Okay. That's terrible. Because the reason you get a combo, it doesn't. it's not free. You're paying for it. You just pay for it in the combo. You don't feel like How is f- it even an argument? Egg rolls all day, not even close. You don't feel like a fat fuck after <laughs> eating shrimp cocktail. Depends how many you eat, but true. Shrimp cocktail. So if, you're was- doing what, if you're doing what your boy Rose is here is doing and ordering six for the meal. <laughs> uh, shrimp cocktail was Joe's name and nickname in high school. I don't get that. Uh, I feel the answer to your question lies in another question. Is cocktail sauce used for anything besides I shrimp said cocktail? That. Yeah. Because shrimp is the only good part of shrimp cocktail. Oh, he's knocking cocktail sauce. Oh, sauces. really? Shrimp cocktail is more fun I, I to feel say. the exact opposite. Uh, much like the Rosa's shrimp, they're easier to pop in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like that. Just ask yourself, what would you rather take in prison? I, I think, think the answer is clear. <laughs> That's funny. Guys, it's shrimp cocktail. These jokes write themselves. Egg rolls are a flavored delight. I don't care how much they remind me of the male anatomy. Shrimp cocktail is what trashy people eat to try and be fancy. I don't want to oh, scroll back up, Tim. I don't want to eat shrimp shit. I've never seen one clean properly. Hand me some fried goodness. An, it, that is an outrageous statement. I've never seen one clean. Way more properly. variety and ingredients in an egg roll. Shrimp cocktail is a one trick pony, which I was trying to say. The shrimp is just the entity of the whole shrimp, the actual body of the animal. It's 100% one thing. All understand? Right. So when I'm. So when I'm eating it, 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 you're like, it could be good, it could be bad, but it can be both because it's coming right from the sea. It's not like it's manufactured or processed. Uh, Shrampies all the way. Uh, nope, neither. Sorry. Uh, an egg roll is done right. is like a warm hug. Wow, that's almost... Wow. Somebody else said that. Shrimp cocktail is so gross. Yeah, let's put some dead things in a bowl of blood. Oh, shut up. Come on, guys. <laughs> See, I don't agree with this shrimp cocktail because egg rolls vary in taste too often. I find them pretty consistent. Nothing worse than the surprise butt of an egg roll that tastes like hot garbage. I agree, Derek. That's what I was saying. That's what I was See saying. This? Oh, scroll up him. Shrimp cocktail needs sauce to survive. I agree. Egg rolls will live on with or without no, the they sauce. Will not. Viva la egg roll. I I have driven back, and I need to make this point to you, egg roll fans. I have driven. Now you're back. gonna get heated. Let's I go. Have dri- I've been getting heated all the time. Let's go. I have Before the bell, let's back. slug it. I have driven back to the Chinese restaurant twenty five minutes in each direction because they forgot the duck sauce. Mm. You have to have the sauce for the egg roll. An egg roll without the dipping sauce is terrible. <laughs> Why are you getting heated about that? Because this concept that you, you, anybody is eating you, an egg roll you, without the sauce you, is first bullshit. Of all, first of all, if you drove 50 minutes round trip yeah. to get duck sauce, we, where, where were you staying that the closest place My mom to and duck dad's sauce house. was 25 My minutes away? My mom and away. dad's house. The, the, the Chinese place was 25 <laughs> minutes away that we like to order there from. There wasn't a supermarket nearby? And my dad went and got... They don't have real ducks. You... You fucking amateur. The, have you ever bought the duck sauce at the supermarket? That sure. ain't, no. You got to get that shit that thing, comes bro? out of those clear packets. You don't packets. think it's the same thing? It's not, You don't dude. think it's the same it's thing? It's not. I've bought it. I've bought it many times. It's not the same thing. It's like, it's like the difference between blue cheese r- dressing at the restaurant and blue cheese dressing at the steakhouse. It's not even the same fucking ballpark. If they're making fresh blue cheese dressing, yes. I'm telling you're you buying something. manufactured packaged duck sauce My dad packaged packaged picked up Chinese food for us. He came back. I said, where are the sauces? He said, I didn't check. I guess they forgot them. You want to talk about a meltdown. <laughs> uh, 
I just didn't even understand. I was like, how did you not check for the sauce? I don't understand. <laughs> what are you doing? But you went, I'll be honest, you went back to get duck sauce to slather over everything. No. It wasn't no. just because I, you, no. you wouldn't have eaten the egg roll without the duck sauce? You I waited one and hour and ate a cold egg roll? I went back and I got the egg roll and the hot mustard. The, 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 the egg roll is not happening without it. That's it. The hot mustard or the duck sauce? The duck sauce I can get by with just duck sauce, but if I'm getting if I can get duck sauce and hot mustard, I'm getting it. Oh, because we, now look how fun the egg and roll I don't sounds. Put it on duck anything sauce, else. hot mustard, a mixture of both. Isn't it great? The only thing greater than an egg roll is DeRosa's hair. That's a nice point. It says greasier. Gre oh, greasier. <laughs> All, right. All right, give that guy the win. Give that guy the win. Yeah. All right. Uh, follow at M E L G A R E J O. A J. All right, let's go. To Why do we say follow? Do you think people are following these people? No, we're one just comment? being nice. It's a nice thing to do. Is that okay? With yeah, you? I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just dismount with this. I'm always, and I really mean this. I'm always excited. Oh my god! How many times are you going to make this point? To eat the egg roll. I know you've said always. it. You said it three times. We get it. I'm, I'm, I'm. I couldn't even tell you what percentage I'm excited. I know you. You've made this point. Cream. You've made this point. Great dismount. I'm going to dismount with this. You're, are you always excited? I'm going to dismount with this. I'm going to dismount with this. Are you always excited? I'm going to dismount, with this. dismount with, this. with this. You dismounted. Now it's my turn. Well, I'm asking you a question. Stop you repeating dismount. yourself. Wait one second. Yes. Yes. I love Greg shrimp Luganus. cocktail. Yes. Yes. I love shrimp cocktail. Crimp. I love shrimp cocktail. Every time of the you fancy see it, appetizers, every time you, it is king. Every, every time you see shrimp cocktail, you're excited. You're like, oh my God, I can't yes. wait. To, oh, you're like, you got to be in the mood for shrimp cocktail. No, I love shrimp cocktail. Every time? Since I was a little tyke. I don't believe that. Also, okay, we're, we're, are you, and you're not always excited to eat an egg roll? I love egg rolls, but I'm team shrimp cocktail right now. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we got? I think you're going to win. I don't think so because seventy five hundred. You just votes. told me egg rolls are only good in five states. Well, there was a lot of pro egg roll stuff on here. Pimp, give it to us. Oh, Jesus Christ! My God, going into this dude, I really thought I was losing. I swear to God, I did not think. Pimp, humble pie. I did now, not think that 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 I would like to I was point out take a to w. the fans. N not even. Not only did I, I think like I was the underdog, I would like to point out to the fans. I didn't think I was winning. I thought I was a big underdog. I would like to point out to the fans that my original pitch for this battle was egg rolls versus chicken fingers. No, they weren't. And yes, it was. Oh, correct. And you told me egg rolls are going to get slaughtered. Nobody likes egg rolls. They won't, they won't be chicken fingers. Killed, they, won't, they won't. They won't. You got to do it against shrimp cocktail. Once again, this man has sabotaged me in a battle. Now I stand by everything I said. But you think he doesn't know what he's doing? He, you're, you're a louse. You're you, a louse. you have to look in the mirror and blame yourself. If if I if I if I propositioned you with that and you accepted it, the blame is on you. I wasn't doing it because I thought I, that I you thought would lose. As you. a matter of fact, I said it during. During the battle, I thought shrimp cocktail you was put on, ubiquitous. You put on a good and front. I thought egg roll was you regional. You put on a good front. I thought I was going to lose. You I thought on, I was actually going to lose. put on a good lose. front. Not, well, look, I didn't think I was going to kill you, which is what I did. 68.4% egg roll to 31.6% shrimp cocktail. I did not think I was going to have more than double your percentage. I know in no way, shape, or form. Just, but by the way, but if you, just, you looked at me and you said, I'll do that. I and know. you said, I'll take shrimp cocktail. I know. I'm just starting gonna, to learn your ways. Yeah, all right. <laughs> just say the words, please. Just say the words, please. I still love you, babe. I still love you, too. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic.